Welcome, welcome, welcome to the podcast. This is um, Kips Bay Boys and Girls Club, Cordell Clubhouse. We're here with two special guests. One of them is an intern. She just started today. Today's her first day. I'm going to let her introduce herself. I'm going to let her, you know, she's excited about this program. She just took a mic and she's ready to go. So um, from my left to my right, talk to me. What's your name? You're from my left to my <laughs> right. This is my left. We go this way. My name. Do I have to say my last name? No, just say okay. your first name. I don't my care about your last name. I'm going to look you up on YouTube or nothing. My <laughs> name is Bianca, and I'm in the 12th grade. And Bianca's a senior. I'm a senior. She's about, to, she's about to be out there in the real world. And this is my first day here. First day. She got the jitters. <laughs> Next. My name's Nirvana. And Nirvana. It's Good like name. my third time here. Nirvana's a good name, good band. You ever heard about Nirvana, the band? Too old. Huh? You better look it up because that name is dope. <clears throat> um, you talk, I'm, I'm too old? <laughs> no. Oh, the, 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 the band the, is too old? Yeah, but it, but I know it, that Kirk Cobain died. Thank but you. Like. But you know about Kirk Cobain, so you know about Nirvana. My mom Nirvana. has a shirt with my name on of it. Of course. It's a, yeah. it's, it's a dope band. You listen to it. It's really a dope band. Um, my name is Mr. Ish. I've been here too long, and I talk too much. <laughs> So let's just jump right into it. Bianca's first day. How are you feeling, Bianca? I'm not that nervous because... Because you know me. That's what it is. Yeah. If you didn't my know me... Right you know, if you didn't How do you know, know me, each other? Well, I work in, in a school during the daytime. The school is... Uh, I don't even know I should give it a shout out. Should I give it a shout out? No, they whack. No, nah, I'm going to give it a shout out. Bronx Early College Academy. Ooh. Becca. Oh. Um, uh, do I give... The, yeah, I give them a clap. It is what it is. Better, it is. I give him a clap. I give him a clap. We represent him. Um, I work in that school, and she's one of the students in the school. So we have an internship program that we've been doing for, I would say, the last two or three years. It's, a, it? it's an internship program where I get students from the school, and they come work here. They, they help out with homework and stuff like that. A lot of the students have stayed later on and, and got real jobs and stuff like that. So it's pretty yeah. cool. Wait, so let me get this straight. Is that where Joshua came from? No, that's where um Miss Miss Loudy. Oh wait, Ms. where La- did she go? She went back to school. You know, Mr. Raffi. Yeah. Okay, they both came from Becca. Ralphie you know, or Raffi? Raffi, Raffi, dark oh. skin, dark skin. He was working in the summer. He's shorter. Yeah, shorter. And then the girl, uh, Yannibel. Miss Yannibel. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, so far, friend. those three people have come from Becca, besides me. Wait, you came from Becca? Well, yeah, I, she works I, well actually. Time. I worked here first, and then I started working in Becca. But, oh. you know, I work in both. Um, yeah, so she's one of the students from there. So, um, you know, we're getting her in here so she could help, you know, the cadets really with some homework and get some work experience. And, well, um, yeah. well, if you're helping people with homework, that, pr- that pretty much means you're, like, really, really smart. So. Oh, all right. I haven't Aww. seen her report card. <laughs> but, um, you know. That was last year. I haven't seen her report card. But ago. she is a 12th grader, so she could probably do... Um, math work from you know fourth grade yes. you know, uh, she knows how to add and subtract and divide um, and she uh, and so she and she I'm could read that. and she could read so can read. you know she could help out the young kids now she's not doing calculus she's not doing living environment she's not doing biology no, 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 no. you know not my field she, okay so field. i'm just all i'm hearing is what random hearing? words random words random words not doing <laughs> okay well what do you do? What do you, what, what classes do you take in, in school? In school, I take I take reading, writing, science, social studies, and math. Okay. And sometimes I for like my special, I have like um, art and stuff like that. Oh, so you you have like an elective in this like art? Yeah, they call it special, but I just but in my old school we just called it um. Like our activities to do. Okay. I mean, do different they? schools call it something different. Um, we have um in our school we have a week that that they go through like these different classes that they take, and we call them intensives because we try to combine a lot of things into one week. But um, you know, some schools call them electives. Some yeah. schools call them special programs. Some you know, some schools call it a different thing. But at least it's nice that you have art. Not a lot of places. Do they have separate art. reading and writing thing? Well. So my teacher, what she does sometimes, like we're learning about biographies, so we're reading a lot of biographies about people. And when we were doing, like autobiographies, we read we didn't read any autobiographies, but we read like a book about porpoises, like porpoises in peril. Mm-hmm. 
and yeah but yeah, now so we're, we're reading but like you guys you don't go to different classes for reading writing no, no but okay. in fifth grade fifth grade they yeah. make us walk to different classes oh, so and then sixth grade we have to walk to different that's classes. the big okay, that's when you grow up yep when you get up from your desk and you have to go to another room and it's funky and you have to go to that desk and then you have to get up from that funky room and you go to another dirty room nah, i'm just okay when you move from from class to class at a certain time that's when that's when you get in that's big. like sixth grade yeah they, even, and then you graduate nine. Well, so I technically have to walk a lot. That's all right. You get your steps up, but um, it, it's not that bad if you if you're How walking you if you're walking up? around and at least you're you know you're exercising. At least you're getting your steps up and all that stuff. So you know you'll be okay. Exercising is good. Well, it's already what time we got? We got six. Yeah, six oh four. We I don't do the SMR thing. I'll shut you down real quick. <laughs> um, it's six oh five. So thank you for you know giving me a. Five or six minutes of your time. We'll try this another time, but um, it's dismissal time, and we got to go. Uh, so thank you, Bianca. Yeah. Thank you for You're you know, trying the podcast the first time. Bye. I'll give you a little clap. Mr. Ish, and we're out of here. here